Hi, I'm Connie and this is my wife, Catherine. With the help of my parents, Connie and Dave, and our littlest helper, Simon, we're renovating our 1968 Playmore Model 140 at our home in Wichita, Kansas. Hi. Can we turn this trailer trash into treasure, one project at a time? <laughs> Follow along to find out. Okay, so last week we put the door on and we painted pink and green onto our camper. And you can see our little hubcap there we transferred over from the other camper to just kind of get a feel for how that's going to look. That's not, that's not going to be the right actual one for it. So standing around looking at it, we feel like this center white band is too thick. We don't like it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take this green and we're going to pull it up to about right here. Pretty close to the pink and we're just going to have a little white stripe that runs around the uh, outside of the camper. So it's basically just going to be green and pink. Um, I think that'll look a lot nicer and a lot more thought out and planned. Um, I also have to sand this little ding down a little bit here I um, I caught it with the rope or something when I was um, uh, putting that tarp around the camper to do the pink so uh, kind of scuffed it up there I'm just gonna sand it a little bit and then spray it real quick while I have the gun out so that's uh, that's today's task see how far we get Shouldn't take that long, right? That's what I always say, though. as I'm doing this that I am technically doing this kind of incorrect what I should have done is just uh, masked off right at the edge of the pink painted the whole thing green and then come back after all that was dry and masked off my white line there so there was only one paint edge that I would have to match up but this will also let me sit with it for a few days and make sure I've got the uh, line with right and, and so on and so forth. Make sure that I like it. So I'm going to load up the gun. I'm going to get this done. Yeah, that rhymes. up another I better do two so Time to kind of unwrap this and see what we think. Hopefully, fingers crossed. 
crossed. It's real pretty. I think it's gonna be. Well, I would say that's much better. It just looks more intentional, more thought out. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think once we get the cream on there, uh, it's going to be just that much nicer. When the windows go back in, it's going to be great. But yeah, it's going to look sharp in a campsite. Okay, so tomorrow morning before it gets too awful hot, I hope to uh, be able to repaint these rims. We're gonna paint them the same cream that we're doing on the uh, stripe up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off now so that tomorrow morning when, before it gets too awful hot, I can work on them. So first of all, if you're changing a tire and you've got one of these moon rims on, you've gotta get it off. Most tire irons have a pointy end. Put that under there. Should be able to just pop it off like that. These are called baby moons or moon hubcaps, whatever you want to call them. Um, we're getting new ones for these rims and um, I'm going to be painting those at some point. It's not going to be this color. Uh, we just put this on from our other camper uh, so that we kind of had something down there that we could look at. The next step, once you have that off, is to loosen all your lug nuts on both sides. So a camper is kind of like a teeter-totter in that, you know, it rests on a point and it rotates around it. So when you lift the jack up, it drops the bottom. You let the jack down, it brings the bottom up. So if you've got your jack stand, let your tongue down all the way, it'll bring the back up. Put your jack stands up as high as they'll go there and then raise it on the, um, on the tongue and that'll leave your wheels hanging, hopefully, uh, from the chassis. Then you can take them off real easily. You don't even have to get a, another jack out. All right, so I've got both tires up here now. Uh, as you can tell, I got some overspray on the tires themselves, which is okay, because we're definitely gonna replace these tires. Don't run on the tires that you found on something that you pulled out of a field. Tomorrow we're gonna uh, do a little sanding on these uh, wheels and then we're going to um, uh, spray them down with some primer and um, come back and spray them with the uh, color that we're using for that uh, white stripe there on the camper. Cool, cool. We'll get at it tomorrow.
pretty sharp. I'm pretty happy with it. It's really turning out nicely. I, 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 I'm kind of repeating myself because I'm just uh, almost at a loss for words. I like it so much. Next step is going to be probably putting the windows in. So I got to get the uh, seals for them and get them all shined up and made pretty. And then we can uh, start popping them in here, which is going to be pretty exciting. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Um, thanks for following along, and we're going to see you next time. Have a great week. a chance I won't. Okay, maybe there was a chance I was going to break all three of them. Time to make the donuts! <laughs> These pants have a crotch in them, so... This is how you Sonic. <laughs> and I'm a member of the 4-H. You're too old to be in 4-H. <laughs> I started 4-H. I was in 4-G. That's how old I am. <laughs> I can't afford pants, okay? Okay. These are my crotchless, buttonless work pants.